In this presentation, we are going to look at a one-way ANOVA worked example. So I'm just going to move this question into shot here. I just sort of zoomed in quite closely. A trial is undertaken to investigate the uh, effect on fuel economy of three fuel additives. So that's an important piece of information to start off with. The number of uh, subgroups in our sample. So I'm actually going to go straight to my notepad and that's where I'm going to write out my table. And I'm just going to go to a new page here and just state the number of groups is k equal to 3 okay so i've just see i've just uh, as i go i'm actually collecting up this information as i go okay so a b and c are new and c is a b are new and c is the current additive the same driver drives the same car on a fixed test route during 20 working days that's important there that's our sam overall sample size and again i'm going to go straight to my notepad and write n equal to 20 that's the overall sample size uh, the additive used, uh, okay, so the same driver drives the same car on a fixed test route during 20 working days. So it's proper experimental conditions. The, not that that's relevant to the, uh, the mathematics, but it's just important to know. The additive used on each day is randomly assigned such that, so that the A and B are each used for 5 days and the C is used for 10 days. Now that's, that's important information. That's the sample size of each of the subsamples, okay. So uh, we'll come back to that actually. The variance, uh, uh, the response variable measured in each day is y, the number of miles per gallon achieved. Okay. So here we're given some information. I'll just see if I can blow that up a bit. Uh, we are given um, there's five measurements for A, five measurements for B, and ten measurements for C. And also we're given the the, the sum totals there for A, B, and C. So you, what you could do there is calculate the mean and variance for uh, A, B, C, and the overall mean and variance there. Straightforward calculations, um, but I'm going to sort of let you skip that part. I am going to give you pre... The, the question is to come up with an ANOVA table okay and I am going to give you some additional pieces of information you're given the additional pieces of information the mean and standard deviation for groups a B and C okay and also the total mean and the total standard deviation okay so what I'm going to do there is you notice I've given the standard deviation but what is important actually is in this in these questions is the variance so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my notepad a uh, the mean is uh, what is the mean 36 but check that 37 37 39 34 37 39 34 okay so that's the mean for a. Now, what we're also interested in is the variance. Okay, so I just uh, let's scroll back, and what we'll do is you can uh, get the variance, uh, the standard deviation of each. So what we're going to do is square all of those numbers to get the variance. So what I'm going to do is let you pause it and uh, just check this yourself. Now. Well, we're going to round it up to a nice round number because this is the, the this was done with a bit of standard. Uh, these uh, values were calculated uh, by myself, where the the real numbers are actually quite. Uh, most of them are quite neat. So, uh, let's do that. Pause, and I will go to my page now and see. Do you get what I get? So variance. VAR equals. Uh, 1.5811 squared that is 2.5 that's the variance of A the variance of B is um, 1.8708 I'm going out a shot there I'll just move in squared okay and that is 3.5 and finally, what I've sort of stepped on to C there, so I'll just do C down here again. C, the mean is 34, 
the variance is uh, 2.2111 squared and that is 4.888 okay so that's the mean and variance for each of the subsamples the overall uh, mean or the overall variance is 2.8837 squared and that is I'm gonna make that to be 8.3157 okay so that's the overall variance we're gonna use that as well so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down to my table. So those are important pieces of information that we're going to use on the go. Okay. As well as the, the means for each subsample. Okay. So the uh, next piece of information is we're going to go use this, that the K is equal to 20 and the sample size is 20. Uh, the K is equal to 3, that's the number of groups. And K is the overall sample size, that's equal to 20. And what we're going to do is start filling out this table. So we have the sources, the degrees of freedom, the sums of squares, the mean square, and the F test statistic. That's as far as we're going with this uh, presentation. So first off, between groups and within groups, okay. And the degrees of freedom for within groups, between groups, is K minus 1. The degrees of freedom for within groups is N minus K and the overall degrees of freedom is n minus 1. So we have n and we have k, um, so we just put those values in there. Uh, n min uh, k minus 1 is 2, n minus k is 20 minus k is 20 minus 3, that is 17, and n minus 1 is tw uh, 19, uh, 20 minus 1, and they add up to each other as well. 2 plus 17 equals 19. That's an important point. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, look at is sums of squares. Now I'm going to start here at the bottom with total sums of squares. Okay. So what do we know about total sums of squares? This is important. That the variance of y is the total sums of squares divided by n minus 1. That's a sort of permanent fixture of ANOVA procedures. So 8.3157 equals SS total divided by 19. Okay, so if you were to work that out, you would find that essentially what happens here, what you do is this, 8.3157 times 19, cross multiply, is SS total and that is equal to 158. So, we put that into our table there. So that's 158. Okay. So that's the bottom row done because you don't have anything in here and you don't have anything in here. So there's nothing in there and there's nothing in there. So what we have to do now is compute the um, the sums of squares for between groups and within groups. Now what I'm going to do is finish this video and start another video, a part two of this video, where we continue on with uh, the within groups and between groups because there's a lot of calculation involved in those.